Hey there guys, what's going on? It's Mackie back again. Now, I hope you enjoyed the two videos yesterday. Uh, the one explaining where I have been and the one about the Bison buff. Now, as I said today, I would be speaking about um, what I was expecting from Sledgehammer and their competitive and just in their game in general. Because uh, as we know, uh, Sledgehammer, they have taken over development for the game this year so we now have three production companies in the forms of Infinity Ward, Treyarch and Sledgehammer. Now Treyarch they done an amazing job with um, competitive, they really did hit the nail on the head uh, and like Black Ops 2 it was absolutely an amazing hard point, it was an amazing Maybe game type. Uh, it was an objective based game type but it was an objective based game type where you had to slay which made it really entertaining to watch. It gave players like Scumpy, uh, Aix, uh, Nameless, those kind of players, uh, they thrived in that game because it was a game where you had to slay um, as well as holding down an objective. So again, players like Nadeshot, like TP, like Rambo, they done really well in it as well. And then obviously had your anchors like Clayster, uh, Merck and Big T we switch out for Optic. You had, uh, I think it was Proofy for Envy at the time. But basically, you had like a really solid game type there that gave certain roles to the team a lot more defined than what we see in Ghosts. Now, Search and Destroy is just a classic that's been there regardless of what game you're playing. And then we've got Blitz and Capture the Flag. Capture the Flag, I did prefer it takes a lot more strategy and a lot more teamwork to run into the enemy base, get an objective and then carry it all the way back to your base, rather than one player maybe playing a sneaky run or literally one player pushing forward as a solo player, getting lucky and scoring like three or four caps which could win the game. Um, Capture the Flag I just felt was a lot more consistent as a team game mode whereas Blitz, I just don't really like it. Now, I've spoken a bit about current and past games. I want to talk about Sledgehammer now. Now, if they could incorporate a game type like Hardpoint, for example, like a King of the Hill type thing. Um, I mean, I even saw it, it was, I think it was Fear Crabs that mentioned it in a video the other day it was like a crappy version of Hardpoint, it was oh what's the game called? Drop Zone and um, if you take off the care packages in it uh, just hold down the area with the smoke then it does kind of become a crappy version of Hardpoint with no fixed spawns, no set rotation but something like that if they sort of do it the rotation and the spawns and stuff like that then that could become a viable replacement for Hardpoint because in my opinion Hardpoint is the best game type to come to competitive since it has started. Now moving on to Search and Destroy, I would love I love Search and Destroy, I love the dynamic of it. Six rounds, switch every side, minute and a half rounds. I think it's absolutely perfect. I do not think they need to touch on Search and Destroy at all. Keep Search and Destroy as it is perfect. Now Blitz, Stroke, Capture the Flag, uh, where I do think that Capture the Flag was a brilliant game mode for it. It required a lot of teamwork uh, and Blitz, as I said, I think that just relied on a lot of lucky plays, but of course there is teamwork in it, but I think it did rely on a lot of luck at the same time, which is not something we want in competitive Call of Duty. What we want is something that actually takes skill, because if a team wins a championship like Call of Duty Championship on luck, that just doesn't seem right in my opinion, so something a little more skill based like Capture the Flag where with that um, you could use your Hellstorm Missile or your Lightning Strike to like, kind of counter the opponent's run, you could ping up your Lightning Strike, check your base, clear out the base, see where their flag runner's going, that kind of thing. Um, like, I just think Capture the Flag needs to come back in some form because it does take a lot more skill than Blitz did as I said that's just a case of getting lucky with a few uh, a 
few lucky runs, but moving on to the actual game types, what I think we need to see is the one thing I agree with Ghost that they got right. Instead of having it like what Black Ops 2 done, go into custom game and then reset all the rules ourselves and then save it as a custom game mode, well yes I would like the ability to save custom game modes ourselves. The function that Infinity Ward put in, just the eSports button, press go into a custom map, put on a competitive game type such as SD or Domination or Blips, hit that start button on Xbox or PlayStation, I think an Xbox One or PS4 is the option button, I believe it would be. But yeah, just that whole dynamic of you just pick the game mode, hit one button to put all the rules on that you need. I think that was a really good addition that Infinity Ward brought to the table, but I do think that was the only good thing we brought to the table in terms of competitive. Um, now, moving on to like rules, I think the rules that we had were absolutely perfect. Hardpoint, if they bring some form of that back, it was perfect. If we are stuck with Domination, then maybe instead of having a end the game, restart and then pick sides, maybe put in a dynamic where it swaps the points over and the sides switches the sides automatically and it just saves that need for having to end the game then restart it. I would like to see that in there, um, mainly because it would just make tournaments, watching tournaments, playing tournaments that sort of thing a lot lot smoother uh, there wouldn't be the need for waiting to switch rounds and all that although I suppose with the gap it does give players a chance to like sort out tactics for the second side but at the same time I do wish there was that ability if we are stuck with domination however as I have said I would love to see some variant of hardpoint come back now SMD as I said I love that game mode I think it's perfect the way it is I do not want that to change um, I just love s and the way it is, the way it plays, uh, the strategy in it, I just think it's the perfect game type for competitive. Hell, if we could do competitive search and destroy only, I would, i love it that much, but obviously we need to put a little bit of, um, a little bit of variation in. Now, I do want to say at this point in the video, sorry for me just randomly messing about with my turret, uh, I was, my headset just didn't sound right and I was trying to check it. Uh, like with the turret in different positions uh, and like the gun trying that. I don't know, it just didn't sound like the left and right channels were coming through properly, so forgive that in the video. But anyway, on to the final um, thing, the rules for Capture the Flag and Blitz, I do think they were perfect as well. But uh, in terms of weapons, if they're going to put weapons in the game, then I'd like to see them all being used rocket launchers and like projectile launchers aside I think any weapon that they put in the game you should be able to use but instead of saying no well it's not really the developers that have to say that but MLG instead of having MLG in the position to say no look we're banning those weapons they are too overpowered it would make competitive unfair or boring to watch Balance all the weapons equally, balance the perk system, balance the kill streak system, if you wish. Just balance the system where everything can counteract everything and everything gives you an advantage over something if they're not running the right counters for it. Because um, I think Black Ops 2 did get that pretty much right with the perk system and the tacticals and the like the meta games that came out of them were really, really good. However, there were one or two weapons such as the FAL and well, the foul. That just made it absolutely ridiculous in the cap 40 in the secondaries as well. But um, I think honestly just with a bit of weapon balancing and giving away to counter it in the perks and kill shoots and that kind of thing, it could be like pretty viable. Uh, so I'd like to see that a little bit more balanced so the MLG doesn't feel the need to have to ban anything. Game modes I'm perfectly happy with. Keep them there. Kill streaks. Kill streaks is the big thing about it. Ghosts really disappointed me with the kill streaks. I love the Black Ops 2 kill streak system. Um, just the ability to select any, and instead of it being kill streaks, it was score streaks. Not point streaks, not kill streaks, score streaks. Any score you got during the game counted towards your streaks, and that's the way it should be. If you reward them for a positive action, doesn't matter how big it is, whether it's killing a dog like just there that got me 100 points. 
whether it's killing an enemy that gets me 100 points, taking a hard point that got you 200 points, I believe it was, um, or like blowing up a claymore or a shock charge or whatever that gets you 25 points. Um, I just think that that was a really good way to go about it, the score streaks, and make the kill streaks not so autonomous. Um, I think that's the one thing that really did take the kill streaks out of competitive and ghosts. They weren't really autonomous or they really just focused around public games. I'd like them to put see I'd like to see them put in a few kill streaks that revolved around competitive. Like specialist specialist is great, don't get me wrong, but kill streaks like the lightning strike, the hellstorm missile, the sentry gun, um like that sort of thing, the RCXD even, like those sort of kill streaks, they added to the competitive game. They never took away from it at all. They added to it, and I'd just like to see Sledgehammer include something like that in their game as well. I think it would be really good for the competitive scene, um, and again, it would just get us kind of back to that Black Ops 2 if you, because I think that is the best competitive has been in a long time and while Ghost did make a valiant attempt I still think Black Ops 2 is better. Now with the last couple of minutes coming up in this gameplay the one thing I have left to talk about is the Codcasting or Broadcast System. I think Black Ops 2 absolutely nailed the Codcasting System. Uh, they had the picture in picture mode with everything displayed outside of the actual game area where you could put it down into that picture in picture mode, you could have the screen there with the game you had all the different information, you had the team names, the minimap, um, it just gave you a lot of versatility. There was a lot of white space in that picture and picture bit where you could put like sponsor logos, that kind of thing. Uh, I think that just gave a great range of versatility, versatility in the game. Um, and I'd love to see the old Codcasting system from Black Ops 2 or something along that line's come back. Not really the broadcast system that we have in Ghosts. But anyway guys, that's all I've got to say on it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you agree with me, let me know in the comments down below. If not, make sure you like the video. Anyway, subscribe to the channel. We'll have a lot more videos coming out. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. That'll be down in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.